think that training of individuality is extremely important. The ideal student must not just um, amaze the eye, but touch the soul. And that comes from the person, not the body. We try to do something new, what, what we feel, not just going to class and do classical steps, but also our inside feelings. Honesty, that one understands that dance is a human art performed by humans for humans. What we're very lucky in our school that, that our school works for a living choreographer. We don't only produce students for John, but by having creativity, the Schwerpunkt, the, the force of our school, I find it, it, it's very important that dance dances in the future, not only in the past. The whole thing has to work as a microcosmos. All people, many of the teachers who were uh, former uh, dancers in the company, who are now using their experience to, to help other people. Alle Schüler, die hier zu uns kommen, wissen, was ihr Ziel ist. Und das ist schon etwas sehr Wertvolles. Wir haben jedes Jahr ca. 150 bis 170 Ballettschüler. Davon sind ca. 60 kleine Kinder. Das ist die Vorschule. Dann gibt es 60 Schüler, die sind in Ausbildungsklassen, die täglich Ballettunterricht haben. Und die Abschlussklassen, wir nennen sie Theaterklassen, die sind, ist die Berufsfachschule. Die kommen täglich von morgens bis abends. I think what is unique and special and exceptional about the Hamburg Ballet School is that we offer the students a strong basis in classical ballet. It is my goal that they are the best classical ballet dancers um, when they leave the school, but at the same time it is a marriage with, with a creative process that, where they are allowed to express their individuality and continue to blossom a little bit like a tree that's based has its roots in the classical ballet and from there it can continue into the future and grow and express themselves. We usually start at 10 in the morning, one and a half hour of cla classical, maybe two hours always depends and then we have rehearsals for shows or we have um, pas de deux, or we have modern or we have music or we have composition class, rehearsals, we have soft rehearsals. It's not about just doing a step, about being an athlete of how, how high can you jump, how many can you turn, how, how big is your split, it's not about that. Of course it also matters and it makes it more nice, but we take the focus in this school on the art and of the, of the emotions that we try to bring to the audience. And get there. To really make the audience believe that we show them like a real life story. It can be about princes and princesses, but this is not the essence of it. The essence is the humanity of the prince or the princess that I'm portraying. The involvement of the whole person, not just, the, not just what he learns in order to establish his technique. That is school in a sense. That is my tool to be free to express myself. I know, I think, every company in the world, and I don't know of another company who has studios like this where we have light flooding in from both sides. And the first time I was in this building, I knew it was our building that was beautiful, that was clear, that was without pretension, so that it would be a, a fertile place and a fertile ground for creation. We do our own choreographies, we have our choreography exam, we, do, we go to a little theater in Hamburg, perform all the choreographies we have we've made by ourselves.
the school and the Hamburg Ballet Company are pretty connected with each other. If, if, if you get the chance to work with the company and to, to go to rehearsals for a performance and maybe eventually you will even perform with the company together, it's, it's even a bigger challenge and you feel so excited about it, maybe a bit scared also. to be one of those little kids. The most important for me was just to see the, you know, the, the principal dancers dance. I think this was the most inspirational moment, like to see what is possible to achieve when you're older and if you continue working. You get the images, you know, and you remember these images of, of beautiful dancers dancing. And this develops your taste of dance and this develops your whole inspiration and whole, uh, whole point of what you want to become later. You work every day and you do the rehearsals and you try it again and you maybe get frustrated. Then one day when you eventually be able to do it and then you just enjoy it and you feel it and then... Uh, yeah.